few minutes ago, I asked the AI to calculate the steel reinforcement density for a column and actually the results were very nice. And let me show you what happened. So I am starting this with this question, which is what is the steel reinforcement density of a 20 by 80 centimeter column if the steel details are as following. Vertical bars, 8 diameter 16 mm and stirrups T10 at 15 centi spacing and the column height is 3.5 meter. And now I want the AI to calculate for me the steel reinforcement density. So let's see how it will be calculated. So here the answer that we are getting right now is like this. First of all, calculate the volume of concrete. So here this is the width, depth and the height. So 0.2 into 0.8 into 3.5. So this is the volume and this is the first thing. So 0.56 cubic meters. This is the volume of a concrete. Now coming to step two, which is the calculate the weight of vertical reinforcement. So vertical bars, we have eight diameter 16, eight bars of 16 mm diameter and the bar length is 3.5 so it's just considering the same column height and also the unit of weight for the t16 bar is 1.58 kilogram per linear meter so in that case how many linear meters we have total we have 8 into 3.5 this is the total length of the steel then multiplied by 1.58 so we are getting 44 kilograms here for the vertical steel inside the column. And after that, as we can see here, step number three is to calculate the weight of the stirrups. And for the stirrups, we have the diameter T10, so 10 mm, and stirrups spacing is 15 centi or 0.15 meter. And the column parameter is two into 0 0.2 plus 0 0.8. Here there is one mistake, something that we need to adjust because as you can see, we are not considering any cover here. So actually we will tell now the AI to consider the cover, but let's keep going with the current calculation. So this is the column parameter here. We are getting that the length of the stirrup is two meter, as you can see, and this is the calculation. So approximate stirrup length, neglecting bends also is two meter. So total number of stirrups here, the column height divided by the spacing plus one. So if the column height is 3.5 and this is divided by 0.15, plus one, this will be equal to 24 plus one, which is 25 stirrups. So we have 25 stirrups here. And the unit weight of the 10 mm bar is 0.62 kilogram per linear meter. So the weight of stirrups in that case will be equal to 25 stirrups and each stirrup is two meter. So we get the total length of the steel required for the stirrups. And then when this multiplied by the weight per linear meter here we get 31 kilogram step four is to calculate the total steel weight so the vertical plus the stirrups so here we have 44 plus 31 the 44 is from this step calculate weight of vertical reinforcement here we are getting 44 and also for the stirrups we are getting 31 so the total steel weight here inside the column is 75 and then to calculate the steel reinforcement density inside the column, here the formula that we are getting is the weight of the steel divided by the volume. So this 75, here it comes, the weight of the steel, vertical plus stirrups, divided by the volume which we got from the very first step. So we are getting here 134 kilogram per cubic meter. So now what I want to say here, just to put the cover, please consider 2.5 centimeter cover from four sides. So we need to see what is the impact of this and will AI understand what I am talking here or no. So here you see, calculate the effective dimensions of the column. So that's again 20, 80 and 3.5 meter. And the clear cover is 2 point centi applied to all the sides. So effective dimensions inside cover, effective width is 20 minus five centimeter, which is 2.5 into two. So that's 15 centi and here for the other direction, the 80 centi direction here, 75 centi we are getting. So 0.15 and 0.75 and effective volume of concrete will be this. No, now we are going very sideways. So what I want to say now, please consider the cover only for calculating the stirrups. Everything else will be as before. Okay, so let's see, will it understand or no? Because 
You see, when you are dealing with the AI, you need to make sure that you are getting accurate calculations. So you have to make sure about the logic that was used. So here is still the reinforcement density for 20 by 80 column, considering the cover only for the stirrups is 126. And actually, I've run this before and I found this to be the correct ratio that I'm looking for or steel reinforcement density that we are looking for. And also what you can do, you can say, please export these calculations into Excel. So let's see what do we get if we do that. And after analyzing, here is the template that I got. I can download it. And now when you open it, it looks something like this. So I am having here width, depth, height, and cover, and stirrup spacing, and number of vertical bars, and vertical bar diameter, and unit weight of the T16, and stirrup bar diameter, and all of these things. And in the end, as we can see, we are getting here 126. So the formulas are not exactly here, but still the formulas part we can adjust here in these cells and we can have this as a template that you can use for future use. And that's it. As you can see, it is very simple and easy to use. And I hope you enjoyed this process. And if you did, don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.